And we have our Consul General for Jamaica in Miami, Mr. Oliver Mayer. And ladies and gentlemen, I, it's my pleasure to just go ahead and bring him on. Good evening, sir. Welcome from Miami, Florida. <laughs> or wherever you might be. <laughs> How are you, Mr. Hall? It's a pleasure to be on your program. I am doing well. I'm doing well. I, I, I have had a wonderful couple of last few days <laughs> leading up to tonight. So I'm doing great. How about yourself? Very good, very good. And, uh, you know, I, I just, I, I really want to give a, a quick shout out to the folks at like you Integrity, had Integrity Fund. Fund. Yes. Right. And I let me tell you, I am still laughing. Chris Parker and Prince. Yes. They brought the house down, and I I wanna I wanna encourage everybody in Atlanta and those who want to travel up. You, you should not miss this yearly, the annual show from the Integrity Group. Um, seeing Chris Parker on stage and everybody else, I mean, was really a treat. Um, they had all the different aspects of, of Jamaican life at Christmas in particular. Um, you know, even one scene where they, they, they imitated a, 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 a downtown uh, scenario where a lady got robbed and, and, and um, you know, they, 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 they had to, you know, they, they interjected a past in the scene and it had a good ending. But just the whole fun of it with, with, with Chris Parker selling water gun and and, 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 and all, all manner of things. It was really funny and hilarious. You had to be there. And um, I just want to say congratulations to them. The good work they have been doing um, way in over the years, 18 years. We, yes. <coughs> we consulate are very proud of, of what they're doing because the, the funds go towards uh, basic schools in, in, in Waterhouse. Um, so young young boys in particular, um, youth at risk, um, ensuring that they, you know they reduce illiter illiteracy rates, and they have many success stories, and um, they have been able to contribute so much, especially to the teachers um, in yes. these communities and in, in these schools. And every month, uh, there's a contribution that's made. So it's an ongoing program. There's a there's a there's a board in place. There's an auditing uh, exercise that takes place um, on an annual basis. And a really good program. And, and we are so proud of the work. I mean, you, you saw there we made a, a, a presentation to them. Yes. And I just want to congratulate um, the group, Integrity Group. Yes, yes, you did. And and I'm happy I was there too. And can, and can uh, just add a little bit that Especially, I like the fact that they mentioned what they did for the students, but also pointed out that teachers also struggle and that teachers are in for support as well. So, yeah, very, very touching from that perspective, especially when they shared the experience of one of their students that they have helped in the past. And uh, kudos to the entire team, man. The Integrity Children's Fund event really is great. It was my first time, I will admit. But I, I know I'm already planning for next year. So, yeah, yeah and, 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 and of course, kudos to President Carl Chambers and yes. the entire team. Yes. I was happy. I, I, won't, I won't let your listeners know. I mean, outside of, of you know, coming to make the presentation and, and sending my, and my greetings, you know, I also had a small little part there. I, I, won't, I won't get into any details about that. But um, it was, it was, it was. It was for a great cause. I was happy to be, be a part of it, and um, really just appreciate the work and all it, all the efforts coming out of Atlanta, because um, it's real. Atlanta is a very special community. Um, I want to thank the, the community for their their warm embrace, their support um, over over the year. You know, I've just celebrated my my, my first year um, as council general. And, um, you know, I, you know, it, it evidence, uh, you know, I'm in love with Atlanta, evidence by the amount of times I've been there and just, just the reception from the community um, and, and how well they, they, they have 
rallied around um, initiatives and um, you know they've, they've you know it's been symbiotic. They've, they've, they've requested um, my presence. I've come there and it has been productive. Um, we have had clinics adopted from the exercise. We have done investment, um, you know, outreach programs um, in the community. Um, you know, so many different things over the year. We have had a prime minister's visit, uh, of which we of which we were a part. So there are so many things that have taken place over the year. We had the diaspora, the the um, the, 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 the um, summit what? The conference, the summit, yeah, the summit. Before, before the diaspora conference. Right. And so, you know, very productive time um, during, during the year um, here in Atlanta. And um, I just want to thank everybody um, for their support over the time. Yes. And, and, and you know, you, you went through quite a few um, uh, topics there, if I may say, that you wanted to just touch on and, um, and, and thank the Atlanta community. But how about we back up a little bit to the 5K because that that was um, one of the events that drew a lot of excitement, especially towards the end. There was a lot of enthusiasm about it. So can you be a little more detailed about how that turned out as far as, you know, we know we're raising funds for clinics, but can you sh is there anything more specific you can share on um, what the proceeds were like from that and, and uh, in particular how they were used? Is that something you could share? Definitely, and I um, I just want to to again thank everybody for the for the support. You know, we were we were able to raise um, from the from the events itself a little over nine thousand dollars, and we had um, some that we had raised through our independence uh, church service of fifteen hundred. Awesome. So, in total, ten thousand five hundred after expenses um, will go towards um, a clinic in Jamaica. We're, we're in discussions with the Ministry of Health now to finalize um, between two clinics. Um, as soon as it's announced, we will also, we will be arranging the office, official launch in Jamaica and um, just allow persons who would like to be a part of that um, to come down um, to Jamaica. And um, you know, once the dates once the dates are, are set, we'll announce uh, we'll announce those. And um, already we have started um, the discussions with the Ministry of Health. So I want to thank everybody. You know, we did this. We basically pulled this together in a little over, um, little under three months. Yes. And the, the turnout in, in, um, in, you know, in Atlanta, in the tri county in Florida yeah. and Orlando right. was, was very encouraging. And um, already persons are looking towards next year. We have identified October 3rd as our save the date, which we will um, send out officially and just start working towards it because we really want to, even though we had one one clinic um, coming out of the funds from the exercise, we do have a couple of organizations that have indicated that they would like to also adopt um, clinics um, based on the sensitivity, the, the, okay. the um, information they received. Right. Um, out, 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 when advertising the 5K, so wow. um, that's another that's another development that um, we're, we're we're working on. So we just wanna really just say a big up to everybody. You know, getting the community, exercising, um, taking your health more seriously is something that is very important. The community coming together. Um, us, you know, we're we're responsible for 13 states here at the consulate, and um, the whole ideas of of us all working together. Um, as, as one unit um, doing something at the same time and um, we, 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 this was a good exercise yeah. I know Houston, Houston is going to be coming on board um, this year around and we're going to we're, we're going to try and get as many of the 13 states involved as is possible this year of course we're going for all 13 to have our 5k at, at the same time Good. Um, and try and get Love as it. many clinics adopted so that's, that's the latest on it we, we um, we, we want to have um, some some camps, some training camps that uh, will happen along the way. Just so allow persons who would like to continue exercising, knowing that it's not just a one-shot thing, exercise a way of life. Yes, yes. And it's open to anybody. We have already started this in Florida. We're in discussions with some folks in Atlanta to have that started there. And we want to roll that out 
um, in, in other regions. So persons who would like to come out can do it free of cost and just get getting exercising, whether it's like walking and, and, and stuff. So okay, um, I want to thank Tony Gray, yeah, um, Donna McLeod, and of course the late Kevin Booth, our very good friend, and, yes. and the entire committee who worked and all the people who came out to be a, a part of the event. Yes, sir. And a couple things. I can vouch for at least four persons who, after that Saturday morning, have made Saturday morning walks a routine now. They, they get up and go walk. And uh, speaking of Houston, I want to say shout out to Gloria G.G. Campbell. She says, to tell you, happy holidays, Consul General, and thanks for being visible and working for the good of the people. And well, <laughs> there's a... You know, I, I, you can't move. Don't move off of Gloria so quick. Gloria, okay. Gloria is such a wonderful lady. <laughs> She's the vice president up here at the Houston Association. Yes. Working along with Dr. Uh, Nikki Jones. I Listen, I went there early in the year, and I'm going to tell you, the reception I got from them, I, I was so pleased. The community is well organized. They're energetic. And, you know, when it just shows that people are on fire for Jamaica, people want to support, people want to get involved, they are involved. And a lot of dynamic things are happening. Um, a lot of dynamic people are in the in the community. Persons like Gloria, who just are so sold out um, for for Jamaica, and um, you know we, we we just encourage people to to um, get in get more people get involved and just continue to share brand brand Jamaica to the world. You know. That's right. And 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 don't don't bother try to invite him too often now, Gloria. We, he, he's got to don't let Atlanta and Houston get into it. No, I'm just, just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. Um, yeah. So I had to share that with you. It came up on our feed here. And, you know, there are um, you touched on a few things. I just wanted that extra bit on the 5K because it meant so much. And, and, and there was such an enthusiasm after a lot of people who, who somehow didn't know about it. Can't wait to hear about the next one. Uh there's there there's some other stuff happening, man. We just had elections. Um, uh, yes. Would you like to touch on the uh, diaspora elections for a little bit? Definitely. I want to first of all just to say congratulations to Dr. Alan Cunningham. Um, you know, congratulations on your victory. Um, he's now the new diaspora representative for the Southeast. Um, and we thank Mr. Wayne Golden for his two terms of stellar service to the community. Yes. And I, I want to thank, I want to congratulate the other five candidates because right. they were, we, we had all top-notch candidates come mm -hmm. forward. Oh yeah. Um, you know, and and I mean, you know, I I have been accused of having, you know, I hear I've heard my name having different favorites. You know, <laughs> and I, I can't I can't I can't clearly say that I I just have a good relationship with at least. At least four, four out of the six right. are people I know very well and um, people that I interact with on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. So each time I interacted with one, the next day I would hear, boy, you know, this <laughs> one is my favorite, or that one is my favorite, you know? But I love oh, all of them. Yes, yes. And, and what I like, Wayne, is that, um, that already um, they, they have started to connect, you know, I know, I know of conversations. Yeah. that are taking place where persons have reached out to, 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 to candidates who were perhaps were not successful in getting the position, but have asked them to, to, to come and support, and they have agreed. And it's that sort of spirit of working together that we encourage. And I want uh, to, to thank the Electoral Committee, who worked very hard, Father Ward, um, Dr. Jones, um, Philip, Philip Grant, Gloria Campbell, Tony Gray, Sidney Roberts, um, you know, they really, you know, it's the first time that the election went online. Yes. Uh -huh. So there was some burning curve there. Right. Um, there was, the, you know, um, nothing is going to be perfect the first time around. Um, but I believe the guys worked very hard. They were very professional. Um, and we had a we had an online system that served the entire elections. And um, we had we had excellent candidates who came out. And I want to congratulate all the winners in the various jurisdictions. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we're, we're particularly proud about is that um, the new regions that will come into the fold, you know, Africa, uh, South America, Asia, 
and other parts of Europe. It just spells well for 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 what is going to take place. We're going to be writing history as we speak in terms of how Jamaica will continue to grow from strength to strength through the diaspora. Yes, indeed. And and if I may, sir, hot off the press is the official press release regarding the um, elections. And if I may take a quick moment to read it. Sure. Um, Global Jamaica Diaspora. And this is from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, ladies and gentlemen. And it's the press release, Global Jamaica Diaspora Council Elections, December 17th, the date that was yesterday and it's for immediate release here we go global jamaica diaspora council announces final 2019 election results for the usa southern region moving and the motto moving diaspora engagement forward a model for deeper partnership dr alan cunningham has been elected to represent the usa southern region of the global jamaica diaspora council he will represent the southern region which includes alabama arizona arkansas Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, Mississippi, New Mexico, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Texas. Dr. Cunningham is a business entrepreneur who also believes in community enrichment. His academic achievement includes a doctoral degree in international business, master's degree in management, and a bachelor's degree in psychology. For more information on Dr. Alan Cunningham, please visit the website at globaljadiasporacouncil.com slash election results. And if you click on the profile link, he's one of the six candidates for the region, including Alreen Richards Barr, Michelle Fanger, Garfield Heron, Mark Jackson, and David Mullings. The council will be established in January 2020. The elected candidate will become a member of the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council, which serves as an advisory and consultative body geared at facilitating more effective engagement between Jamaica and the diaspora. Members of the council will serve for three years, allowing them more time to achieve the agreed deliverables during their tenure. End of press release. So, great information, well-timed. Um, uh, Mr. Consul General, to share with the audience with you on, and you've already expressed your your um, congratulations and also your appreciation for those who participated. And I will say, I voted, I registered, it was easy. I voted, I mean, I couldn't believe I was done. So even yeah. though there might have been some glitches in some ways and aspects of it, I honestly can't complain about the voting process. So... Yeah, it was, um, you know, it, it was a fairly um, easy process for persons, um, you know, going online. We're in a digital age, and so we just have to be moving things online. And um, so from, from that perspective, we're, we're, you know, we're pleased. We want to thank, we want to congratulate the, the, the minister um, or, or minister of, of foreign affairs and foreign trade, um, Kamina Johnson-Smith. Uh, we want to recognize Lincoln Donor, Director of um, Diaspora Affairs, um, the Undersecretary Sharon Saunders, the, the very hardworking committee, because at the end of the day, um, the real work took place from the, com from, from the committee, the electoral committee in the various communities. Again, Father Ward and, and, and his team worked um, diligently. And, um, you know, it... it, it it augurs well. And as we speak of online, I won't go into too much details. You would have heard now that um, the passport renewals, so adult passport renewals, yes, that... are, are now online um, via Pika. Persons can can know, you know, instead yes. of uh, sending sending down your documents to the consulate in, 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 in Miami or to the honorary consuls, you can actually now do it online. Um, yeah. I won't go into too much details with that tonight, Wayne, just to say that persons can visit the website pika.gov.jm and um, just to get relevant information. But again, we, we're moving, we're moving yes. things forward in the digital age. Yes. And um, we, a lot of other, the, the, my Caribbean peers um, have reached out for support in terms of 
um, how they can how they can how they can move in the same direction in terms of um, especially as it relates to our diaspora developments. Right. So I want people to feel proud. I want people to feel excited. Yeah. They're part of the movement. Um, feel free to contribute. I had a friend who reached out to me, Wayne, and he said um, he wants to get involved. I said, well, in Atlanta, they said, listen, come on, come on, meet me at the Integrity Show. I'm going to introduce you to some folks. And, um, you know, I introduced him to at least 20 persons. In fact, I was so happy. I have started to introduce people from Atlanta to each other. I'm yes. saying, listen, <laughs> I, you know, I'm saying, oh, you haven't met this one yet? Let, let me introduce you. Yes, so, uh, yes, yes. Such pride, you know? Yes. But um, people get involved. There's work for all of us um, to support Jamaica. We, as you know, Jamaica moving in the right direction. 18 quarters of, of, of economic growth. Um, unemployment rate at the lowest it has ever been. At um at, at a little over seven percent, you know we stock have had market. the best, best performance mm. stock market in the world. Yes, and you know our debt to GDP was at one hundred and forty-seven percent. It's now at ninety-two percent. Um, so a lot of exciting things happening. We are we are grateful. We give God thanks. That's right. And we 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 can't forget the Father in in, in Amen. All of our Father bless our land. Listen. You might have stolen a peek at my list because Pika is what I was going to touch on next with you. But it would be churlish, very churlish, yes. for us not to talk about Miss World for a minute, Mr. CG. Sure. <laughs> what a feeling, you know. And congratulations again to Miss Tony, Tony Ann Singh, bringing Tony us Ann another Singh. Miss World title. Yeah. Let me tell you, we are on top of the world. And I mean, it, we, um, first of all, you know, she did school. She did school up in our region. Um, she she was at the um, Florida University, um, and 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 she spent three years there. So so she's part. She's not only a Jamaican, but she's you know she's part of the community here. So we we, we were doubly happy um, from her and Bay, um, and you know she has made all of us proud. I remember just being at Integrity Show, announcing it. And, and and everybody was on cloud nine shouting at top of their voices, and um, she has she has given us an early Christmas gift. Um, yes, yes. And, um, mm -hmm. It's when you know it's it's for those of us like myself who like to sing, who like to entertain. It 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 is instructive that not only is she not only is Tony and beautiful, but also talented, and and I believe. She not only, um, what it was not just her looks alone that took her to the title. She also, it was her singing, her, her glorious singing. Yes. And for those of us in the arts and those of us who love culture and appreciate culture, we recognize the importance of this element um, that we share to the world and we share our talents and our gifts to the world. And see, we have come out again on top and we give God thanks. And we're so proud of you, Tony, and, and, and you've given us an early, early Christmas gift, which we will celebrate and celebrate um, for, 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 for years to come. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're speaking to our Consul General from Miami for Jamaica, Mr. Oliver Mir. Mr. Mir, we really appreciate this uh, kind of end of the year wrap up, man. Um, just touching on some important things for us to keep in mind going into the new year. Anything uh, message-wise, anything, um, any, as they would say, any teasers in the radio and television world? Any teasers for 2020? <laughs> we have, a, we, you know, we, we have a lot of, we, we have a lot of things coming. Yeah. Um, the new year. Um, the good thing is that we will be sharing these things as we go along. Okay. Uh, I just wanna, I wanna wish everybody Merry Christmas. Um, a happy new year. Um, we, we we celebrate life. Um, we you know later 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 this week we're going to celebrate with a lady in the community who is who is um who's going to celebrate a hundred years. Um, we 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 we're, we're living longer. Um, I encourage persons to to not eat not eat too much um, during the season. <laughs> eat in moderation. Right, right, right. right. Yes. Um, let's continue to watch our uh, our health. Let's 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 be kind to each other. Let's 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 embrace kindness some more. Embrace love. Let's put away uh, mischief, backbiting, yes. um, jealousy, 
let's 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 yes, let's yes, let's tap yes, in yes. for unity and support. Let's support um, our Jamaican and our Caribbean businesses. Yes. Um, especially as we go in the new year, there's a Wayne Hall um, who is carrying the flag for, for for so long in the community. Let's advertise on the program. Let's 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 ensure that our Jamaican restaurants are supported. Um, let's really work with each other. Let's show love and support. Um, you know, throughout my time coming up to Atlanta, the warmth and appreciation I have received, um, I, I, I will speak about it for years to come. Good. And this is Love warm it. that we will continue to share to the world. Yes. And encourage persons, especially in this time, to look out for the less fortunate, for people who have nothing. Look to give more. Look to share more. And, and, and embrace love, especially during this during this Christmas season, as we give thanks to our Lord and Savior for coming into the earth. Because we still put God first at all times as a nation. Amen to that. Yes, sir. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, Mr. Mayor. Thank you for, I don't know, man, you're going to have to clone yourself in 2020. <laughs> but thank you for all you do. And for just staying on top of your communities the way you do. Always bringing this positive uh, vibe, this positive energy, positive message to the wider community. And at this time of year, very pertinent advice to the community. Thank you very much, sir. We always appreciate having you on. Thank you, Wayne. And thanks to your listeners. One love, everybody. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year when it comes. That's right. You take care. All the best to you and yours as well. Enjoy the holidays. On and, and, and I should say, on behalf of my wife, Tanya, and my daughter, Serena, uh, we appreciate each and every person in the community. Thank you. You're welcome.